Welcome to the 10th and last part of this EG RAS EG HMS tutorial. Today we are going to see how to export the information into GIS and uh, I will give you some idea what to report to the authority and how to do it. At this point we have to report our analysis on a way that people understand it. We have to be careful, we cannot make a very long report. We have to keep in mind that this is not an academic exercise. We are always as a site planner in an humanitarian emergency situation and we are asked to do this work in a very short time with the scarce available information that we can find on the plate. On the other hand, if we do a short report, we may give the impression that we are very superficial. The good thing on these two software, EC HMS and EC RAS, is that you can easily find all the information and you can easily export all the information, either in Excel or in any GIS program. An addition from the GIS, you can uh, convert it into the XF for AutoCAD or uh, Civil 3D. Let's start uh, with EC HMS. With this software, we have found the hydrograph down there at the ridge, and uh, we can in the report show how we did it. If you go on GIS, you can export all the layers in shape format. This is very useful because then you can import the layer in any GIS software and make a nice map out of it. Additionally, if you go to result, you can have the table of the result that you can export into Excel. This data as well you can include into your GIS software and you could show, for example, with a nice map, your sub bassin, your reaches. Here I have an example where I have all my bassin with the sub bassin, with the main reaches. Based on the legend, you can understand that the river is getting bigger. Down here, you have as well detail about the simulation our peak discharge at the breakpoint at the sink. This map could be integrated into the report. Important is that the map has a legend, a scale, a title, a date, logos, depending where and for whom you are doing the work. At this point, we have also to explain where and how we could find our land cover and how we manage to come to the curve number of course, there you need some words, but uh, you can as well include your uh, map. In this case, you have a map, again, with the title, with logos, with the scale bar, with the north arrow, with the legend, where you have the different type of land cover and the curve number. You can display your rain intensity. You can describe how you have found the rain intensity. You can display through Excel or directly through HMS. You can explain why you have only one rain gauge. And finally, as well, you can show the estimated flow at the sink, exporting all the data into Excel, comparing it with the rain intensity here I have compared the rain intensity together with the water flow at the sink in Excel. This also could be inserted in your report. Let's move now to ECRAS. First, I would explain the geometry of our area. For that, you need to open RAS Mapper as usual. You activate the geometry, and if you right click on this sub layer, you can export all the layer to shape file and open it with uh, any JS software. You can export perimeter, you can export the break lines. On the same way, you can export the boundary condition, and finally, you can make a map and explain the map for example like this one i have a title i have the legend in which i can see the location of my boundary condition the river the perimeters as well i explain that the orthophoto has been done by the drone on that very date you can also 
export here if you want the mining but best you do it with quantum gis like we have seen for example doing it with the quantum gis you can have a better legend for example in my case i inserted the type of land cover and the mining on the same legend as well you can show the digital terrain model explaining how you did the digital terrain model or where you found the digital terrain model the limitation of your digital terrain model and finally you can have a look to the result you can export the result maps as well select the result right click on it manage result maps here you can develop maps for example we want to develop the velocity map on the maximal velocity or the extreme condition so i click on add new map i select velocity i click on maximum important is that you select stored save to disk raster based on terrain you have to give the terrain but we have only one and you can add the map the same way we can have the depth map maximum you can also select a date time store save to disk and add to map you see now that these two maps have been added this is the velocity map this is the depth map if the map doesn't appear right click on it compute update stored map and then the map will be generated you can as well create other type of maps new map for example the inundation boundary on the maximum polygon add close on the same way if nothing happened right click and compute once your layer have been created you can see that those layer have been automatically saved on the folder right click and open the folder in file explorer and you see that the stiff raster file have been created and they can be imported in any js software i open my gis software with my geometry with my orthophoto and i upload my velocity map that have been previously stored i click on open data source I click on raster I browse to the layer where I have my velocity raster file I click on add ok it doesn't look nice at all I click twice I go here on the render type single band and I choose as a color ramp between red and green I want the high velocity to be red and the low velocity to be green I know that low velocity is fine but maximum velocity is around 16 meter per hour so it looks fine but I need to invert now the colors invert color ramp apply okay here it doesn't look nice that's why I change now the value 1 meter per second 3 meter per second 10 meter per second and 16 meter per second it looks better don't like this one and maybe here we can make 15 this looks better now we can change as well the transparency a little bit okay and now we have a acceptable map now let's make the layout i change the legend okay i change the name water velocity here i don't write don't like that fine and here this is good and here 20 and suffix meter per second so we can have it like that and we can save it and export it on the same way i can import now the water depth raster depth add cross doesn't look nice at all I know that in this case we have maximum 4 meter of depth of the water I go again on single band pseudo color this time I choose only blue equal interval apply this looks good let's make some transparency okay and now let's go and make the map legend must be different we add the legend okay that's good
ok prendici and print ok to change the value that's fine and so now I have my map that shows the floating height and so on for the other maps and here you can see the two maps that you can add on your report as well you can add many other type of map depending on the interest and on the need finally it makes sense to put together a short video of the floating and of the inundation and uh, show it to the authority or to the decision takers while you are presenting the result and while for example at the end you are answering the question of the audience thank you for listening and see you soon